my dragons walking in Peyton Place. It is December 20th, and as always, it is that time for the advent calendar. Oh, 20th. From here. My dad. What it looks like. Yo! It's Prison Mike. My favorite. The convict. What you do, Prison Mike? I stole. And I robbed. And I kidnapped the president's son, and I held him for ransom. That is quite the rap sheet, Prison Mike. And I never got caught neither. Well, you are in prison, but I love Prison Mike. So hilarious. So you guys, today's gonna be very different and very weird. I just put on the same shirt for the next video you're about to see because you guys have asked for this and it took me a long time to put it out and I was gonna put it out yesterday, the 20th, because it was the one year anniversary of this movie, Bombshell, but my Wi-Fi crapped out and some other stuff was going on so I didn't get it out, so that was my bad, I messed up. I also watching it back and re-editing it, remember I think why I didn't release it because I think I was sick at the time and my voice is very like soft and I have like no energy and I was like, I think I was just either getting sick or just like slowly getting over being sick. So I'm definitely not myself. I looked good, but was not myself. So hope you enjoy what I had to say about Bombshell. And still to this day, I still like it a year later. And I appreciate you guys for your patience and watching and sticking with me and being understanding. But now school is over at least until January 25th and I can focus on you and then another job. But yeah, all right, enjoy. Good morning, dragons. Welcome to Peyton Place. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is bright and sunny here in California, looking like we're at about 80 degrees. And for today's top story, we're discussing Bombshell, starring Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, and Margot Robbie. Hi, dragons. Again, I will just say, if you like history, if you like learning things, you're gonna, I think you're gonna like this movie. I'll admit to you guys, I honestly did not know about this Megyn Kelly Gretchen thing. Like, I didn't know about the Fox, about Roger Ailes. I just, I was busy. I just wasn't paying attention. So like, my bad. I enjoyed this movie because I found it interesting. And I, my only thing is, it's like, I, can, I can't say, obviously, since I didn't know, if you already know the story and the outcome, I don't know if you'll like it as much, but for me, for someone who doesn't really know about it and like kind of the end result and stuff, I found it enjoyable. Marco Robbie's performance in this was just exceptional. Oh my God, there's a scene where she's like crying on the phone and I felt like I was just like standing there in front of her watching her. Like it just felt so real and it was just amazing. Charlize Theron too is just killer. My God, to turn, like, I, after this movie, I researched more about Megan Kelly and, like, listening to her, and Charlize just, God, got her 100% voice, looks, everything, so props also to the prosthetics and the makeup artists that made her look a lot like Megan Kelly. It was very impressive. I mean, just, no, the whole cast was just wonderful. And for people that watch How I Met Your Mother, all I'll say is that Nora and Zoe are in this. And I couldn't get over that, but I like learning, and... That's where it's like in school, I'm always a better visual learner. And so watching movies, like I retain more stuff like that or things I see. I honestly, I love this and I think it's so important for our time. And this isn't me on a feminist thing, which is a big part of the movie that she's not a feminist. Like she just saying, she just wants equality across the board. I felt like and that to everyone should just be respected on all levels, women or men. It is such a big thing out there, which I hope hopefully is dwindling that yeah, women, a quote in the movie was if you want to get ahead you have to give a little head and I think that's so messed up but it's sad because I feel like it's also so true and being sexually harassed and that should be taken seriously and I feel for people who have been sexually harassed because I mean I'll be honest with you guys I have been so much I am a bartender and working in bars I've been sexually harassed working at other places I won't say that I've been cornered in stairwells I've been sent things that randomly, I was just like, why am I being sent this? I did not ask for it. I feel like women and men, if you've had this dealt with you, whether you had a female male boss or anything, just don't take it lightly and speak up. And it sucks though that speaking up sometimes can like damage your career or you have to think, well, if I say something then I'm gonna lose my job, which is like, that shouldn't be a thought in someone's brain. I found it also just so interesting that this movie came out with Trump being president and a lot of it was 
bashing Trump, which is, was a real thing, and he did tweet these things. And so it's just, it's so crazy that this wasn't that long ago and it's so relevant for our times. And like a lot of us, we all are living this we, and everybody lived it, went through it and watched this. I, again, sadly did not watch it unfold in real time, but I loved it. I honestly, I thought everyone's performance was just exceptional. And honestly, I would buy it because of how well everyone did in this. And it's interesting, Roger Ailes, a quote, I guess, I don't know if it was real life or just for the movie, it said, bullies are the ones with more power and they like beat those with less. And I'm like, no. I feel like bullies are the ones that actually have less power and they want to beat on the ones who have more. If you have all this power, you're not going to concern yourself with other people. You're not going to bully other people. I'm just about equality across the board. Man, woman, everyone should be having an equal playing field. If someone has a better education or if someone has more experience, blah, 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 it shouldn't matter whether they're a guy or a girl or whatever you are. Like, it just shouldn't matter. It's just like, are you qualified for this job? Boom. And it was so funny. Like, I watched it in Los Angeles. I went up to LA to see it. And as I was leaving the theater, like down the street from where I watched it was Fox Studios. I was like, this is awkward. <laughs> Don't be afraid to voice your opinion, especially if you're trying to, to do good in the world, you know? Like if you are trying to protect others, if you are trying to put a bad person away, kind of like Roger Ailes, or if like someone has been sexually harassing you, like you need to speak up and so that it doesn't happen to other people. And like that was a big part of the story was that you didn't say anything 10 years ago and now I'm dealing with still with the aftermath. My point is I enjoyed it. So if you guys saw a bomb show, what were your thoughts? Comment them below. And as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.